Let's play. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of SimCity Starter. Uh, my cat Henry has been on a tear all morning long, so you may or may not hear him in the background today because he apparently wants some attention. But we are going to get into our build here and we're going to go over putting down uh, probably some more oil or some oil pump jacks because I want to get more oil pumped out so we can make more money. And I'm also looking at putting down our oil power plant. We are not going to need our wind power plant anymore. And in doing so, I'm hoping I can obviously delete this, but I want to get into this area because, as I've mentioned before, this is going to drive me nuts. So I really want to try to see if I can smooth this out, and in doing so, start laying the foundation for the more permanent roads that I want to put in this area to design our city and make it look good. So let's go over here and let's look into pump jacks. I've forgotten how much these cost. So we're going to go into the edit mode and 10 grand a piece. So they're not terrible, but they're not great either. First thing we need to do is take service road, which actually brings me to another point. Boy, if I could just keep a linear thought pattern, it would probably make this game so much easier, don't you think? We needed to solve the issue with our trade port. We have traffic coming from our trade depot. And they have to go all the way around here, all the way down to get onto the highway. What we're going to do is simply put service road, and the service road comes from our oil well. But if we take, if you notice, not only does this road come down and meet with this road, but we can take that intersection, we can put it straight down, and then we can attach this to this road, and that won't create an intersection that's going to be a problem because only service vehicles can drive on it. So they can get right on here, they can jump on the highway, and it won't cause an issue as far as um, traffic. Boy, I'd really botch that. There are no lights. Let me show you. Let's go into the regular view here. There are no lights. There's this little crosswalk, but of course we don't have pedestrian traffic right now. But they can simply now go right from this building down here and right out of this city. And of course, yes, I'm going to go trim that. And I need to go in here and back over here. Grab my bulldoze tool. I can almost say that word. Every single time I say it, I think I, I botch it too. So let's grab this. And I should be using shortcuts, but I'm not yet. And we'll bring that around. And that is ugly, isn't it? Well, that's going to do it for now, though. I can live with that. So they'll go out. And now everything is taken care of there. I'm probably also going to run this service road eventually, or not right this minute, up here because I'm thinking about putting our garbage dump and our recycling back in this area. Get those out of the way and have them tucked out or whatever. So anyway, let's go back in here. Let's go back to our service road and let's figure out where we want to put our pump jacks. These industrial buildings are in my way. I will probably at some point go ahead and delete them. For now, I think I'm going to try to see if I can't go as tight against this as I can. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here, too close to the intersection. I probably should have known that. Let's back this up and grab this, run this straight out, and see if we can't. Nope. You know what we can do, though? We can go ahead and delete this. And we will take this. Let's grab the road. And that's kind of ugly, too. Maybe we can I have a better idea. Let's go with the straight line, and a straight line. Boy, this is giving me all kinds of problems today. I don't know what the deal is. And I'm going to do this, and I am, yes, going to round that corner, just because I want it to look nice. I don't think it'll matter too much in functionality, but to me, that almost looks better. Almost, because that wasn't quite as nice as I wanted it to. Some days you're just a perfectionist. Other days I don't think it matters as much. But today, I want this to look a certain way. And that is what I'm going to achieve, come hell or high water. So let's bring this out. And that is going to fight with me every step of the way. I think that's as good as we're going to get it. I'm good with that. Let's move right on. Now let's take some of these roads and bring them right out into the field here. So we're getting oil that we need and I don't know the distance between the pump jacks we're gonna find out I'm gonna place 
two of these sons of guns. And I'm going to go right off of this row. Let's do here. And I'm going to space them just one apart because I like that look in here. And now let's go back to our road and let's see how close we can get. We can get fairly close. That's not bad. So I'm going to put those two down. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put down two more. So now we will have a total of six pump jacks sucking up the oil. And I'm actually even going to go ahead and lay down one more road. And that's not quite as close as I want it. And that's now too close. That'll do. Excellent. There. So now we have an odd set of road here, which I'll get rid of. But we have a total of six pump jacks. And as we speed up the game, those will start to uh, pump additional oil, which they're going to take to the trade, trade depot, which are going to sell. So I may need an additional delivery truck at some point. We're going to take a look at that as we get further into the game. Uh, we know this is Omega Co. already. We've discussed we're not going to do Omega Co. They're just going to keep asking. So we unfortunately have to keep saying no thank you. Um, I've left these on for now. If, if in your game you don't want to have these little annoyances or these little mini games, all you have to do is go into settings and go into gameplay. And if you hide the speech bubbles, that'll turn that off. Um, but I wanted to go through those with you guys just in case we wanted to play some of them. We have right now the fire station, which these guys have yet to put out any fires. And I'm betting he's going to continue to ask for Dr. Vu, which we've already said no to once. And yeah, we're going to have to either ignore that or keep saying no either way. And that's fine. Now let's take a look at our oil power plant. Let's see what we have. I believe we can afford it, but just barely. And that is this one here, 27.5. So if we put that down, I can start destruction of this at the very least and we'll need to make some money but let's take a look at this and see where we want to put it I don't want to put it on top of oil for the reasons I mentioned last episode I don't want to put anything on top of our money this is all our money um, which again I might have to delete these so I can put out another set of pump jacks here to get into this nice heavy black but we don't have any oil here and we don't have any here but I'm trying to keep more of the industrious style buildings, at least in this area and even on this side of the, the avenue. So I'm thinking I'm going to put my power plant down here. Now you can see that it will prevent us from having one addition on it. Um, and you know, I think I'll be okay with that because you can still put an additional stack on there. And that will pump a lot of energy or it will make a lot of energy. Now let's see what these guys are asking. Squirrel! Let's see what these guys are asking real fast before we place that. Oil Tycoon, what do they want us to do? They would like us to put a petroleum HQ down. And that's how you can make things like, uh, I think, gasoline. And you can get into plastics. I think you need a refinery for that. It's been a while since I've done it, so we might look into that. So you know what? Let's go ahead and we will do the petroleum HQ at some point. We'll figure out what it needs, and we'll get that going. Back to our power plant. I'm going to go just off of this because I may run that service road and I don't want that to interfere with this and to make it look nice and tidy I'm gonna line it up directly across the street from our oil well so now we've got an additional power source here and that's great we're gonna give that a second to start working I don't want to shut this off just yet because then we're gonna have issues of power and it upsets your sims and I don't feel like getting into that oh look garbage yes they have garbage and yes that is absolutely next on my list now we're starting to have a checklist over here so let's check our utilities we have a boatload of extra which means this is up and working so I am going to come here and I'm going to delete the wind power plant which is great and we still have a lot of access now I'm hoping that I might even put down additional uh, not not only stacks, but additional plants, because I'm hoping this town might even power some of the other cities in our region. Maybe at least the Phantom one. It might power this one to start, and then we might make this self-sustaining. But it might power this one because I really like to look, when we're trying to do a fancier city, um, not having to put down as many utilities as possible makes it look a little cleaner and a little nicer. So this city may power this one. We'll check that out 
as we get on. And we will be getting into an additional city soon. I'm not going to finish this entire one before we move on. I want to break it up a little bit. You guys probably don't want to see me doing the same city over and over again. Uh, so we'll probably bounce back and forth just a little bit. So we've got some money coming in. And we've got a good chunk of change. And I'm guessing, yeah, crude oil, doing okay. Uh, with our taxes at 12%, exactly where we want them. No lower, no higher. And let's see what we've got. Now this, global deliveries, these are local. Yeah, because what will happen? The oil pumps here. Now, of course, we have this set to go to our trade depot and it's going to sell. But along the way, they will stop and they will refill this with oil. At least I, to my understanding, and I'll, I'll double check that. But the oil will go here first to make sure that we have power to the city. And if not, then we'll, we'll turn on global mark uh, global deliveries marketing rather so it can get it from the region we will figure that out as we go again it's been a, a little while since I've done an oil refinery station or an oil pumping station and oil power I just haven't done these in a while so that's good though that's why this is a starter city now we have some money to play with and we have some issues at hand and it looks like medical is one and trash is another work capacity so I'm gonna go ahead and put down an additional waiting room to help take care of that and now I want to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and place my garbage dump and let's see I can't remember how big that is it's not big and I want to pack it in but I want to have it not running the way it is now I actually want to flip that so I can easily add on incinerators so let's go into our roads and I'm gonna draw out from here this is just a rough estimate Let's place this down and see. Yeah, this is the way I would like it to face. And I want to get it all the way up into this corner, so I'm going to see if I can't get that row to go back just a little more. And I can. Oh, look, we achieved something. They must have finally put out fires. So now let's grab this and... All right, again, we don't want the red square. And I do know it's a square this time. We don't want the red square because we want to make sure that we have all the availability we can. So I'm going to back, back that off until right there. Perfect. And now I'm simply going to attach that to this road. And figure out how I want to do that. I want this to come in here and here. And I'm going to bring this here. And I think we're going to do a little job like this. I think that looks nice. And yes. Yes, I am. This and this. And this. Excellent. Hooray, we have trash. Well, we have plenty of trash. Now we have a way to dispose of it. So, this will be working out well. This is an attachment to the Maxis Man Dr. Vu. First they ask you for the good guy, then they're going to ask you for the bad guy. If you put down the tower, you get 10,000, and it creates some problems that, again, we're not going to get into in the starter city, so we're going to simply say, no thank you. So we have our garbage taken care of, we have power taken care of, we have more pump jacks, which means we have more money, which is fantastic. And we actually need, I think, more sims. We only have 2,500 people. So we're going to have to start figuring out what we want to do here. I've got that sewage pumping station way out here, and I want to delete this row because I want to smooth this out. So what I'm going to do to avoid del deleting this or having to place it someplace else is I'm just going to connect this road here and we're going to bring this out like this and we're going to bring this up because I'm going to add more residential temporarily and then from here I can get in and I can delete this because now it'll all go down this road instead of this road and we are left with that ugly terraforming hump Let's see what this is. Well, we've got lots of trash issues. Those are going to clear up as we get into it. Is this the guy who wants the party? It is. We're not going to do that just yet because the... I don't think that the dump is ready for it yet. I don't think... We need one more truck, but it is a quick 25, so what I'm going to do is as soon as we get these... I'm going to sell them the ask later because I do want to do this one. So we're going to hit this, and let's see what they're saying. They're probably complaining about the trash. Yep. So we'll click I'll do it because we've already got a garbage dump and they want dump zones which we're not going to need but we have one truck which should be fine for this population. It might not but we will uh, we'll see. 
If we need more, we'll add more. In the meantime, let's see if we can't somehow fix this. And to not interrupt the daily commute, I'm going to pause the game. And I'm going to go in here. And I am going to delete these sections. And there is our culprit right there. I'm going to back this up as well. I don't know if this is really causing the issue as well. But we're going to find out. Let's go in here. And let's grab our avenue. And let's see how this is going to look. It's not great. It's not quite what I want. That dip is kind of ugly. I can, as you can see, all I'm doing here is moving the mouse. I've connected, but I'm moving it back and forth, and it's helping to terraform that a little bit. That might be as good as we're going to get right here. I'm going to let that go for a second. We have a couple of bucks to burn. I'm not terribly unhappy with that. I'm not thrilled. Now, the big question will be, what happens when we attach this road again? So that's what we're going to do. Let's grab our dirt road, and you can see the terraforming issues that happen. I'm going to back this up some more so we have a little bit more room to play with and let's go back to our roads and let's see if we zoom in here you can see again how moving this back and forth plays with the terraforming of the road I'm not quite at an angle where I want to be so let's move this That might be pretty good. It doesn't seem to be too awful. That's nice and straight. You know what we might be able to do? We might, instead of... Let's come off with a straight piece first. And see what that does for us. Just a little bit. I think that if we do this, and it wants to kind of snap to... You can see that happening, and I want to avoid that as much as I can. I think if we plop that there, let me take a look and see if that's not going to drive me insane. It's not great, but it might be the best that we're going to get. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to live with that. Now let's grab this, and we can attach this. And unfortunately, it's not quite as curvy as it once was. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to delete some of this. We're going to go back, and we're going to take this and wrap this out just a little bit this way. And now we have other terraforming issues. Boy, I really should have thought this through. I should have known that was going to happen, but I did it anyway. If we bring this out here just a little bit, and then bring this back around. There, that kind of gives me the, the slightly more organic feel that I was hoping for anyway. And I'm looking way off into space. And we have... And now another dip here. And this guy, look at him. He is about to Dukes a Hazard right over that ridge. And that's fantastic. But unfortunately, I think we're going to try to see if we can fix that. I could spend all day with this, and I just may. So what I might do is I might fast forward. If this takes too long, I may simply fast forward this part of the video. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me obsess about... Oh, the road grade is too steep. That's ironic, because we've had road here before. Uh, at any rate, so, I'm, so you don't have to watch me obsess about making this just the way that I want it to be. So we may be back in just a second. I think we found success. I think that I have successfully put it down to a point that I'm happy, and that's what we're going to have to live with. And we still have an issue, a slight issue here, which we can easily fix. We're just going to overlap, cross those a little bit, come back, delete just the edges, and then, of course, we're going to round that corner. And we're finally back in business. It took me, as you probably saw on the high speed, it took me having to delete this entire road because by doing just short sections, it's going to continually terraform this portion. So I had to delete the entire road, and now it's smoothed out a little bit more. So, And I think what we will do 
is we might even be able to put something neat here. Just tuck it up here right in this corner. I'm not sure yet. We will we will see as we go. So let's get back and hit play so now these people can get along and do what they were doing, get on with their business. What do we have here? Alright, you know what? We are going to go ahead and lay down an additional garbage truck. I thought that may be an issue, so just go right here. And I'm just going to stack him right across the street over into this corner. And two trucks should definitely be fine. We'll find out soon enough. If it's not, we'll add more. No big deal. Alright, so from here I am going to start getting into putting down some roads over here. And I want them to be main thoroughfare, so I'm actually going to use more avenue and hopefully that won't screw up our entire little section here but if it does it does so let's go back into our roads let's grab a medium density avenue make sure we're on the straight tool and i kind of want to have this it doesn't have to be a 45 i just kind of want it to go off in this direction i might even go here and then here so let's find out if i wanted to go slightly off kilter here that's pretty cool that's i like that and I'm going to do another one. And I'm not sure how I'm going to join these up yet. I probably shouldn't spend 10000 on a road. I don't know how I'm going to join. <laughs> That's too close to this. Let's go. Let's go over here. Now, that's not bad. They're not, they're not running the same direction. And do I want them to? You know what? I might just do that. Let's work on this connection right here. Let's see what we get. See how bad this is going to terraform this. The road grade is too steep. That doesn't surprise me. Once again, we're having issues with this. That dips down, and we have this bump here. So I'm going to have to play with this for a second. Let's see. If I use a straight key, does it matter? It doesn't. Having to come in here. Oh, that's probably going to be ugly. Let's pop this and see what it looks like. Boy, that isn't pretty. That is not pretty at all. Alright, so we're going to delete this and that. And we're going to back this up just a little bit. And if you notice, when I deleted that, it actually raised that ground. Now, there are some tricks about cutting into mountains and raising and terraforming Ugly Ridge that I don't quite know. I've seen other videos about them. And I will try to dig into that because by setting down a road that changed the land here, terraformed this land, and when we deleted the road, the changed changes stayed almost completely, but it allowed us to hopefully smooth this out. So let's go back in here. We'll grab. Well, we got traffic. Well, of course we do. We have nothing but T patterns and grids up here. But we're not surprised. That's not going to stay anyway. So let's grab this. And now, is there just no good way? You know what? We're going to back this up even more and let's take a look at putting this down you know I think no matter how I do this this is just not going to look the way that I want it to I was hoping it would curve in but it's the angle of this road that's the issue so unless I want to come off here And I don't know that I want to do that. That may look interesting. You know what? It kind of does. Hmm. You would think these aren't life and death decisions, but I just can't help myself. Let's take a look at that. That doesn't break my heart. Let's go with that for now. I'm okay with that. Again, we're a little lumpy through here, which I don't think because of this, because of this terrain, I don't think we're ever going to avoid that completely. So I don't want to obsess too long because you guys probably will just give me hell in the uh, the comments section. What would they like? Fireworks. I don't have, I also like to have an additional fire truck for this. So I'm going to do an ask later. But as soon as I can, I'm going to add an additional fire truck. We can as soon as they ask us again for the party. We are going to say yes to the party because we have two garbage trucks. But if you have an additional fire truck, it's a quick 50 grand. Some fires happen, fire trucks go, they put it out, and that's the end of it. It really is good. So we're going to do that. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. What do we achieve? 
boy, it doesn't look like much, but I think we actually did get some things accomplished. We, of course, have our new uh, power plant going on, so we've got power to the city. We've got our new main thoroughfare coming here, so we can start building in this area. We're going to be tearing into this area soon and making it look the way that we want. We have garbage over here. Next thing may be looking into more water. As a matter of fact, I tell you to do this often, but I'm not doing it often enough. We're going to check our utilities. Obviously, we're great for power. We already knew that. Water, we're still good. And that's probably only because we only have 2,500 people. But as we grow, one little tower isn't going to be enough. And sewage, we're doing fine. And I guarantee you, we have a pollution thing going on here. So before long, I'm going to want to get... And in, and in order to do this, I have to upgrade this to a city hall. And then we're going to have to get a department of utilities because I want to get a sewage treatment plant as quickly as I can. Uh, and we'll go over all of that stuff in the next episode about what to choose and when when it comes to your additions here. But for now, that's going to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope this gave you some ideas and helped you along with your builds. And as always, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for another episode of SimCity Starter.